Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Sunrise Show. 18 minutes after the hour, Craig Fromkin is your host and thrilled to welcome into the studio uh, Ian Church. He's the general manager for the Medford Rogues, medfordrogues.com, along with assistant GM Carolyn Birch. And great to have you guys in talking baseball. Ian, you got a smile on your face. Big as this big. Oh, my God. Well, the sun's shining. We just had a bunch of teams out on the field yesterday uh, through the city of Medford. Oh, my. That Memorial Day tournament was off the chain. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. So many people going through U.S. Cellular Park, coming in through Harry and David Field. It was just it was just amazing. Tom Rowley, our fields crew guy, he did such a fantastic job facilitating everything, making sure the field was ready for, for all the kids. I mean, uh, just what a what a beautiful venue for the 14U to be able to play on throughout the throughout oh the Memorial gosh, Day tournament. Yeah, and the kids get spoiled. They, you know, we, uh, this is what I was trying to tell everybody. We don't realize how spoiled we are in Southern Oregon with this uh, this wonderful field out there, the Harry and David Field. And I'm talking to Ian Church. He's the general manager for Medford Rogues, MedfordRogues.com. And of course, they're going to be airing their games on ESPN Radio 580 online streaming that way. But you know, the season starts. Friday. 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 And the o- opening day. Well, I'd, l- I'd like to stop you there. Our preseason starts on Friday. Okay, oh. good. All right, good. Noted. Details, details. <laughs> Noted. Well, thank you, Carolyn. So <laughs> the teams, the players, explain to our listeners, you know, college wood bat, baseball, you know, the summer league. Explain how this works because these players are coming from from colleges all over the country. Oh, Talk my gosh. That. Yeah, I mean, we've got we've got some local teams, obviously the University of Oregon, Oregon, uh, or OIT, yeah, OIT, oh, OIT. yeah West, are, Western yeah. Oregon, uh, Lane Community College, but we, we're, we're pulling from University of Hawaii, we're pulling from Bucknell, William & Mary, uh, Columbia University, Moorhead State in Kentucky. I mean, we, we want to pull the best players from across the country and put them on a platform, if they're a junior college kid, to get to a four-year university, or if they're a four-year university, get better for their school, or even in a position to get drafted and play at the next level. So that's what we're here for. We, we are an amateur league, college wood bat league, to let them hone their skills, put them on a platform to be seen, and then for everyone's enjoyment. I love know? it. I love it. And you know, we talked about this just before the uh, you know show started. Over forty-two thousand people came out for the Medford Rogues last yeah, year. For the Medford Rogues alone, they came out. Yeah, it was uh, it was amazing. The the city of Medford and all the surrounding areas have just rallied around this. I mean, with. Uh, with uh, just the, the history of baseball, it's just so rich with the Medford A's and the, and the Timberjacks being here and the River Dogs being here and now and now us, the Medford Rogues. We're just trying to carry on the torch and um, bring baseball back to Southern Oregon. The it's going to be great. I mean, we're talking, uh, and the, the, I love the website, medfordrogues.com. Welcome to Rogue Nation Baseball. And, of course, the countdown, three days, 11 hours, 14 minutes, and, okay, five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. Yes. Yeah. So, so, Ian, the players. Uh, have they they've they've come in they you've been practicing no right? no they're still playing for their schools they're, they're still wrapping up this, yeah they just this last week I'm, so i mean some of them so so what the opportunity i'm holding up quotes opportunity is we need to find uh the players for i guess there's like terms when i when i went to school i went to stetson we were semester so we right. were we were done at a certain time but then there are um terms like some schools are on a term, right. which is three, three so terms. So they're not quite done. Some of them aren't. So we get some in like June, middle of June. Some we get like now at the end of May. So we sort of have to pick and choose the schools that we that we recruit from to make sure that we have enough players to to fill the roster for each for each game. Evidently, when you ask them to drop out of school to come play for a summer ball league, they don't they frown on that. They're that not into that. No, it doesn't work too good. No. So yeah. you kind of have to balance between the players that can make the games up front. Correct. Uh, to, to fill the roster for coming up this Friday, and they take on the Cheney Studs. Seattle right? Cheney Studs. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. So okay. So they'll do that, and then you you rotate players in because you there is some slight rotation as the players come in, come out. You kind of plan for that, don't you, Ian? We do. We do. Um, well, we the way we hedge for that is a ten day contract. So um, a lot of the schools like. Uh, 
like the organs of the world, they're they're going to go deep into playoffs and into regionals and potentially super regionals and right. hopefully even the College World Series. So we might we may not get them until mid June, but our season starts May 29th. So we need to make sure that we can fulfill a roster, still stay competitive, and it's a very short season, being two and a half months, and we're playing uh, 50 plus league games. And if, yeah. if, if we don't have the, the quality of players at the beginning of the season, we're behind, and it's a lot of room to make up uh, with the other teams. So we need to make sure that we start out quickly, are competitive, and stay in the hunt until the cavalry comes. Exactly right, because, I mean, yeah. even uh, University of Oregon Ducks, I mean, they're going to their third seed, ah, NCAA. Right? I know. So, yeah. Oh, that's so. fantastic. Well, uh, Ian, you la- you know, Chuck Heeman has yeah. did a great job he last did. year. He and really did. He really built things up, and it's on this wave, and you're probably thrilled to have that. And Carolyn, great to be on as well, assistant GM. And uh, going to be great. I mean, 12 teams. 12 teams in the and, league. Uh, starting this Friday. Uh, and then goes for two and a half months, and yep. then the players, you know, they have host families, and you've got summer camps coming up. So are the players, I mean, this is cool. So uh, middle school kids, high school kids, they get to hang, and the college players. Elementary school kids, too. Uh, and the oh, folks. Yeah. So talk about that. We've got a couple of minutes before the break, but uh, the first session for camp starts June 22nd. Yeah, the week of June 22nd. So what I wanted to do was um, the – after I got released by the St. Louis Cardinals organization, I was asked by a couple gentlemen to open up an indoor training facility up in Westchester, New York, and then another one down in Charleston, South Carolina. So it's been taking all everything that I've learned and educating, inspiring kids and b- giving them the basic fundamentals to, um, for their game to translate to the big field because I think we lose a lot of kids that way. Um, they they need learn, to know what they're dealing yeah, with. Yeah, the basic footwork, the, their arm slots, their throwing motions, their, the basic fundamentals of the swing. So the way we can do that is by educating and inspiring the kids uh, through camps, clinics, team trainings, lessons, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I want to build. We have the Medford Rogues brand, oh my gosh, which, is, yeah. which is awesome, and then the beautiful Harry and David field. And I just want to put those two together and just use, use that Medford Rogues brand to educate and inspire as many kids as we possibly can. So. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We've got a break coming. Yep. But let's, let's come back after the break. We've got Ian Church, GM for the Medford Roads, and Carolyn Birch, the assistant GM, in the studio. We'll be right back. More on the Sunrise Show. We'll be talking baseball after this. So get up. Good morning, everybody. 33 minutes after the hour. Welcome to the Sunrise Show. Craig Fronekin is your host. And continuing with Ian Church. He's the general manager for the Medford Rogues Baseball Club. Of course, Medford Rogues, the Rogue Nation. Rogue Medford, Nation. There we go. Rogue with, Nation. With the Church of Birch Show. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And assistant GM, Carolyn Birch. And there you go. Church and Birch Show. Church and Birch is happening right here. Yeah. That right did here. just happen. Yeah. <laughs> We dropped it on them. So talk about all the, I mean, we talked about the players coming from all over the country to yep. play the summer league. There's 12 teams. Last year, 42,000 people came out to see the Medford Rogues at Harry David uh, ball, you know, Ballpark. And it's going to be great. Starting this Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the Medford Rogues go up against the Seattle Cheney Studs. And this is going to be great. A lot of great things. Carolyn, talk about some of the items because it, it is a entertainment. It's a family venue. Uh, you've got the playground down first base. You've got the deck. Talk about all the great things for families going on at the Medford Rogues. Well, um, you know, um, the great thing about baseball and why it's actually my favorite sport to work in is because it's not really just about the baseball. Like, it, no res- no disrespect, Ian. It, oh, yeah, it is about the quality on the field, but really it's just an awesome night out. It's affordable. You yeah. can hang out with your friends. Um, it's not like uh, hockey or lacrosse where you need to pay attention to every single moment. It's like you can kind of enjoy a night out with the family or a night out with your friends, and it's, it's affordable. So um, we have various promotions every night. One is a, um, a $2 
we, or sorry, we've got the Thirsty Thursday, so all our drinks are $2. There we go. Uh, we've got the, the Family Fun Sunday, which is with Fred Meyer. You basically go on there, get a voucher. It's $44, and it's four tickets, four baseballs, four drinks, four hot dogs. Like that's in fours are wild. Four. Fours are wild. Fours are wild. Yeah. yeah. Forty bucks. Forty four dollars. Forty four dollars. Forty four dollars. So uh, you know, there's kind of there's something for everyone, and that's what we want is we want people out enjoying uh, a night out and to really think of it as a, a really affordable option for for families and friends to to come hang out. It's an it's an amazing park. You talked about it earlier. I I'm new into town, and I walked in and I thought this is unreal like this is the park i get to work at it's next to goss it's got to be the top park in the league oh, easily absolutely. easily yeah i mean the, yeah. the 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 dugouts the facilities the seating yeah, the let's, just, let's just call it what it is it's the thing to do in the summer in the road valley <laughs> medford road <laughs> exactly the right. thing to do in the summer yeah. Well, and, yeah. and i think we should put out there that that ian has made a personal promise to everybody that comes through the gates this year this season is that he will do whatever it takes to make them happy so <laughs> <laughs> that is a promise that I'm willing to make on his behalf to all your listeners today, Craig, well, is that if you come to the park and you're not happy, Ian's going gonna, Ian's gonna to take care I, of you. You know what? I was going to talk about oh. that because uh, it's the experience that people take away. You know, they, if they have a great experience, they're going to tell their friends. And you know what? The kids are going to tell their friends. And, you know, kids of all ages, they tell Ian. Every, every, everything will be catered towards those kids, you know. At, at, at the end, I mean, the, Rowdy comes at, out in oh between my innings. Gosh, Rowdy is the show. Are you yeah. kidding? Yeah. 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 Rowdy, Rowdy will be bouncing around that place like a pinball, giving high fives, everything, everything. Yeah. Hugs, high fives, those are free. Well, and so, I, and I, Rowdy, I, Rowdy will be handing them out. I'll hand them out, too. There you go. I and i got to put a plug in for my, bill, you know, my, my buddy, oh Bill my Jacobs. Oh, my gosh, the he, boys. Yeah. 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 Voice of the Rogue, Bill That's Jacobs, it. and he, he gets so giddy. He really does. Uh, he's great calling the games, but he loves the uh, in-between innings and, the, and everything that's going on. It's such the experience. And, uh, I mean, we're, we're I, cranking it up a notch this summer, too. I mean, we're going to try some things. Uh, we're probably going to fail at some things, but I think that's that's what fail. makes it fun. Oh, no, we fail. fail. Failure's not an option. No, failure is funner. <laughs> On the field, failure <laughs> is funner. So whatever you have, you never know what's going to happen when you put those kids out on the that's field true. and they're racing the bases or you get yeah. someone doing dizzy yeah. bat. You're talking to contestants like that. I, and that's that's kind of my thing is I'm on the microphone. And I it, to me, it's it's so much fun. Uh, whenever you, you never know what, what's going to come out of people's mouths or or what's going to happen on the field. So it's you know, exciting. Every, everything, everything will be geared towards the fan, the fan experience. That's, that's, that's the get, right? That's what we're going for. There's stuff to Every, buy. There's food to eat. There's oh things God. to there's, drink. There's souvenirs. There's beautiful, uh, wonderful foods, lots of delicious treats, beverages, adult beverages, all sorts of fun stuff. And then just accessibility to the team. That's what I really want to give because when I was playing, I played all throughout the, the Midwest. I played in collegiate leagues such as this, the West Coast League. I played in the Central Illinois College League, the, the Coastal Plains League, and I played a bunch of independent ball. I played in the Cardinals organization. I played in Mexico, you know, but the, the biggest thing, the biggest draw was the accessibility to the team. So that's what I want to do. After every single home game, kids are running the bases, win or lose, doesn't matter. After every single home game, all the players are going to line up, have a Sharpie in their hand, and sign anything that those kids want because that's, that's the gift for us. And, you know, Ian, you talk about that's, uh, it all equates into a positive experience, oh gosh, yeah. positive attitude, positive thinking, and that the athlete must have that. They have to. Mm -hmm. Baseball is a game of failure. It really is. I mean, the best hitters in the world, they get out seven out of ten times. The best pitchers in the world, they give up three earned runs in six innings. I mean, you have to be able to handle the – you got to get rid of the peaks and the valleys in, in your mental state. You have to stay on an even, even keel because there's always going to be another game. There's, you're going to have another opportunity the next time. And if you can't have that, that positive uh, thought process to say, oh, my gosh, you just gave up six, six runs in two innings, I, the game is beyond me. I can yeah. still put a smile on my face and sign an autograph for a kid because... If this is what it's about. It's the right thing to do. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so talk about our coaches. Ooh, Hogan. Oh gosh. Yeah, so. Shout Hogan. out to all our coaches. Josh Hogan. He's coming back. To, he's our skipper. And uh, Coach Lyle, he's coming back as the pitching coach. Um, we do have a, a guy returning from the inaugural season 2013, Aaron Nielsen, personal friend of mine. And then we also have a duck. On the on their the duck coaching staff, JJ Altabelli. Nice. Yeah, JJ nice. Altabelli will be here. Yeah. Very good. So I mean, they're getting their players together. Obviously, we got players that and we talked about this earlier in the earlier segment. They're kind of rotating in. Yes. Because they some of the players can't be here for Correct. the 29th. I mean, they can't make this weekend. So. Yeah. No. We we've got we've got a contingency coming in and. Um, what, one of the things we really like to do is, is try to make sure that we're recruiting properly so that the people, they get attached, the fans get attached to the players. Right. And we want to make sure that if they can only make a game early in the season, 
if they come later, they get attached to probably one or two players. And they want to be able to see them later in the season too. So we need to do a better job or a really good job of making sure that the player, the fans know who's there. And we're going to be doing a game inserts. Well, you, it, the website's great, so that's... Yeah. Yeah, go, go ahead, Carolyn. Uh, no, I just wanted to say, uh, the great thing about uh, the opportunity here with these 10-day guys is that we actually get to kind of uh, uh, audition and try out new talent that may actually stay with the team the, the whole correct. summer. Yeah. It gives us kind of a platform to look at players that maybe aren't, aren't as highlighted in their schools or aren't as prominent, mm -hmm. but their stats look good. Um, they look good. They've got good potential, and we can bring them in for 10 days uh, and help foster and develop that talent because at the end of the day, it, it is above and beyond the Medford Rogues and this summer and these two months, it is about helping to um, foster and develop professional baseball players or players that have a chance to, to keep playing in a career, whether it be an independent right. league or in the and, draft system. And scouts come. Of course they do. Their yeah. scouts are watching these players After. throughout the season. It, within the past three years, I want to say 56 players have been drafted that have played in the West Coast League. Which is that's a that's a that's, that's a very awesome. good number. It's a very cool thing, you know. And with the history here with the Medford A's, they've seen some of the best talent in the world come through Medford. I mean, the Kinsakos of the world, the McGuire's of oh, the world, yeah. the Hendersons. Oh, yeah. oh my oh, gosh! Yeah. So this is this is it's not on the same level, but they're getting there. And we're the platform to get them to that next level. This is also a very young league, right? The WCL is only 10, 11 ten, years ten, old. Yeah, ten, That's yeah. very young it by is. a league standard. So you're only going to see those stats go up in the amount of players that are right. being put into affiliated ball. Absolutely. Very good. All right. Closing thoughts. Carolyn? Uh, it's going to be crazy this year. We, we But fun crazy. It's going to be fun crazy. We're going to do a couple of uh, uh, theme jersey nights. We're doing a, we're, I'm big into community. We're both big yeah. into community. And so we have a very short time to really uh, engage and support our community partners, uh, charitable organizations. We're going to do Paint the Park Pink. Uh, players are going to wear a special pink jersey that will be auctioned off to benefit um, uh, the fight for breast cancer. We're working with Providence on that one. We've got a military appreciation night. We've got, and they're going to wear great, camo jerseys. Great. They're going to rock the camo jerseys for that first uh, theme jersey night in, in franchise history. Very That's good. That's exciting. Um, we've got a country and western night. We've got the yeah. Special Olympics are coming through with their uh, unified uh, relay, so they'll be bringing the torch with them. And we've got Christmas in July. So we're going to ask our fans to bring oh, a canned uh, non-perishable food item, get a ticket discount, uh, and that's going to benefit access. We're going to have an ugly sweater contest, uh, it, and um, Ian has it agreed. Crazy on Ian the has agreed to dress up as Santa. So as much as you are coming to see baseball, come because I don't even know what we're going to do. It's well, going to be crazy. It's wild. We're going to uh, amp it up a notch. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting volunteered for a lot of things here. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I, I, will, I will rock it. And we're live, so it. he can't say no. This is a dream oh, for me, gosh. Craig. Well, you it's know a dream. what? But the best thing is, it is for the fans. It is for the you know the young players that see what baseball is all about. And then yeah. you know you're you're teaching uh, good baseball fundamentals, and that's going to come through with what the coaching does. And then players get a chance to get you know I'm sorry, young players, correct, middle school, elementary, high school players get to see what an organization, how, what the flavor is. Yeah, and have access to them for, through the summer camps and the clinics and stuff. I mean, they'll they will learn from those coaches, from good. those players. Well, we are going to you know. be following very close stats with the players, the website, the day after, the camps. We'll be talking about that. Where the So it's great to have you in, Ian. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. And Carolyn, yeah. great to have you in as well. Thank you. Can we plug fireworks real quick? We have fireworks. Do it. Oh, fireworks are the coolest. Two fireworks <laughs> shows this year. I know. You know what? You're going to have to have us back just to talk about all the things we that will. are on the field. But uh, Saturday night, fireworks. Yeah. It's happening. It is happening. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Uh, there's so many great things. Ladies and gentlemen, the Medford Rogues, the, Med the Rogue Nation. Rogue Nation. General Manager Ian Church and Assistant General Manager Carolyn Birch, the Church, Church and Birch. Church and Birch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for having us in. Oh yeah. my gosh! All right. Well, this is this is great. Uh, more on the Sunrise Show when we continue. Oh, Ian, this is going to be great. Baseball coming up Friday. Medford Rogues, don't miss it. Game at 6:20. We'll be talking more throughout the week on that, and it's great, Ian. And and for all all you service members, thank you so much for your service. You you are the ones that allow us to do what we oh, do. Oh yeah, they're so thank you, great Americans. Yeah. All right, Carolyn, thanks as well. We'll be back more on the Sunrise Show. We continue on News Radio 880, KCMX. Craig Fern again. We'll be back after this break.